Chips, Five Idiots Talking Toys, and we are here at ICCCCC5. Thanks very much for joining the live stream here in the podcast stage. We appreciate you checking out our channel, and we, we say, hey, I hope everybody had a wonderful time this weekend. It is Sunday. It is the third and final day of the convention here in Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks for checking out the show. Boys, Brandon Alamo is here. Hi, Shane. Hi. Charles Wildminster is here. I am. Christopher Wildminster is here. Correct. I'm Shane Davison, and this is Lord Walden. Hello. <laughs> so, we had a nice uh, time here, a great time on the podcast stage. In the podca I like stage. It's better than room. It's like, sounds, sounds like we're, we're something. Professional? Yeah, it sounds like we have something yeah. going. The podcast carpet. <laughs> the auxiliary True. building where they have microphones. Is yes, that what you should call it? Exactly. Uh, we had a fun time on the first day of the convention, kind of opening up the show. We had been here for a few hours. We had talked about what we had checked out, what we had seen so far. We had run into a lot of friends and people that we knew. It was That was a lot of fun. And we kind of just started to get the lay of the land of the, uh, the, the, the space for the convention that we were in. Now here we are on the final day for the wrap-up, in, in my opinion. We still have some more things we want to do, some more people we want to see, but a great time to get back into this room on this stage and talk about the convention as a whole. Guys, what did, you, what did you see that you hadn't seen last time? Let's start with John Walden. What, like, what was the one thing that you uh, really enjoyed or, or didn't expect, something that was interesting for you? <laughs> Charles is about to kiss you. <laughs> Charles is about to kiss you. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, boy. The, uh, Here we go. The helicopter rides. Seeing Uncle Vic with his leg hanging out of the helicopter like a pro, <laughs> flying over the convention. That was a sight to behold. I thought we were going to have a Black Hawk Down type situation. Oh, definitely, yeah. I thought we were going to have to call in the troops, <laughs> rescue him from around the corner. Did you he hear said, him when he... He's, Get to the chopper, now! <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's in a movie, and he's already booked four more reservations. There's only like two hours of the convention left. He's hooked. Yeah, yeah. he's going on by himself. Uh, no, with no pilot. No pilot. Yeah. But, <laughs> is he going to be sitting in the helicopter with his leg hanging out? <laughs> I could tell you on day three that uh, Ross Barr is still wearing pink shorts. Ross Barr. Is yeah, that is pink. correct. Yes. And uh, I have a little insight to that. Uh -oh. They're exactly the same shorts. Oh, okay. No, they're different. They're different. No, no, no. No, yeah, Friday he was, stained the first pair, he said. Friday was the same. Oh. Yeah. He's was a different one. All right, so if you guys stop by the CAS booth, you'll be able to check out Ross Barr's shorts, Correct. right? Uh, you'll be able to examine them and compare them to Friday's. He just, he just sent me a friend request, actually, on the walk over here, and I was like, the guy's wearing the same pink shorts yeah. two out of three days yeah. after he said he pooped in them. <laughs> I don't know if I could be friends with somebody like that. <laughs> Charles, how about you? Uh, you? You were busy this weekend. You and I were busy. Very busy. Uh, we're here for the podcast. We're here to cover the event. Of course, we mix in the fun and see the sights and take in, you know, the, the vendor tables where we can. Charles, you've been a man with a mission. Oh, yeah. So w what has that been like for you? It's been a lot of work. I've been uh, walking around with the backpack. I have the boom mic. I have a couple, uh, you know, high definition like cameras, uh, microphones. And, you, and, and you've been stuck with the producer all weekend. He's, yeah. yeah. So... I've been doing all the shorts and probably about 99% of the videos. Um, the guy who's supposed to be doing shorts and yeah. videoing is having the time of his life. He's Brandon. on all the autograph uh, lines. He's hanging out with movie stars, mm -hmm. movie stars. And, um, you know, it's just, yeah, it's typical. Well, I, you know, I found Brandon. I was looking for him all over the place. I'm messaging him, <laughs> where are you, where are you? I finally find him. He doesn't even answer me back. I find him in the autograph room. He's hanging out with Tia Sakar. They're over there talking about helicopters. Here we are. What is this, the helicopter show? <laughs> he's, they're talking about Black Hawks, Apache helicopters, where, where he's out of, what does he do, who, what pilots does he not like? We came here to actually do work, and Brandon hasn't done anything. I'm doing work. We're doing helicopter stuff. Did you get that, <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that on video? Did you video any of this? False. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it didn't happen. 
Thank you for joining the Helicopter Roundup Show. We appreciate you being here. Are there any other helicopter uh, topics around this place that we could find before we wrap uh, up for good? Not for me. I'm, I'm good. I, I actually saw the helicopter. I saw a little bit of smoke near it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting on that. <laughs> uh, I actually ended up in the room with Brandon with Tia Sakar, and she, is, she could not be sweeter. Super, super nice. Uh, my daughter, I'm not a big autograph person. I'm not an autograph hound like Alamo no. over here, but I certainly appreciate them. And, and I was standing there and I said, uh, we're walking away. I said, how, how am I not getting an autograph for my daughter? She's eight years old, loves Sabine Wren, has had the Sabine Wren doll, you know, the 12 inch doll from, you know, since she was a baby. So we go back in, super sweet, made a little video for my daughter to say hello, made a video for my son, and then I slid over to, uh, I'm taking over this conversation, slid over to, uh, to Taylor, Taylor Gray. Gray. That's yeah, that's typical. Yeah. Taylor Gray was super nice as well, so I got an autograph for my son. So they are all set. They love Rebels. What was the first question I asked you when you talked about Sabine Wren? Who's that? Exactly. No, no idea. <laughs> which, which really blows my mind. And I know your kids are younger than mine, but your son is old enough to watch Rebels. For sure, he would love it. False. He doesn't watch any of that. Oh, my gosh. Spider -Man. Watch a Spider-Man. Book but of Boba. A cartoon. You know it's a cartoon. He watches Book of Boba. Should I, you tell him what Rebels is? Does he know? Does he have no. Disney Plus? No, probably not. I put it on, and he's just not interested at all. Okay. Well, give it another six months and try it. Try every couple months. I'll try again for you, Shane. Yeah, please, please. Can you, you have a pen? Can you take a note? Yeah. John's going to write that. Right. Brandon, how, well, besides your rubbing elbows, how, uh, how has the weekend been for you rubbing mustaches? Rubbing Finding, mustaches. You're, you're Correct. You're jostling your mustache right now. Oh, God. <laughs> Got to clean it off. Uh, so how was that for you? you? You got a bunch of autographs today. Today, yep. It was cool talking with everybody. And I think the best part about it is that um, at our hotel, we're able to see some of these people in yeah. normal life. Oh, yeah. And to have a discussion with Mark Dodson, you know, so who played Salacious Crumb, for those of you who don't know that, in Return of the Jedi. I didn't. Um, congratulations. Do you know who Salacious Crumb is? Um, <laughs> now you know. Do you know who Salacious Crumb is? Yeah. Yeah, good. yeah, because he I don't has know the, the guy who was 37 feet away moving a string. No, no, it's uh, he's like I have him in a baggie and it's in, in case in acrylic. That's who the, Salacious Crumb is. The, the only reason he knows Salacious Crumb is because he has the Lego. Because oh, now he's yeah, the Lego yeah, guy. Yeah. Lego king over Le here. Don't, but don't say Legos. I said Lego. Yeah, yeah. Legos. I make sure. yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. yes, I know who he is. Thanks. So Brandon is right. We were in the, the lobby of the hotel last night, and uh, Mark Dodson comes down. He's salacious crumb. He's in the Grem he does a voice for the gremlins. And uh, it was, am I right on that, or is that Simon? Oh, no. no, that's him. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Okay. He so he comes we'll over, and he commandeers one of our friend's French fries, fresh out of the fryer. Kyle has French fries. Todd, I don't know, one of them. I can't tell the difference. They're both between. the same person. I don't know who's who. They're but both the same person. It was Todd. Todd had the fries. He had the fries. Mark comes over and commandeers them. Got a glass of white wine and Kyle's French fries. And he looks across the lot, like I'm at the table, the, like, you know, the stand-up table. He goes, what do you got over there? I said, I just got some onion rings. He goes, oh, yeah? I go, come on over, help yourself. He goes, you want to trade some French fries? Later on, I find out they're not even his French fries. He's over there dipping in the honey mustard, and he's having a time of his life with my onion ring. So we had fun with that today. And when you saw him today, Brandon, what did you do to him? Yes, Brandon. Yes. Uh, well, Kyle gave me the idea. I mean, Todd. Sorry, I get them confused. Um, he said, you should tell him, get a free autograph for your French fries or whatever. I said, OK. So I walked up to him, and I said, hey, remember those French fries from the other night that we had? He's like, yeah. I said. Payback. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, what? I can't say it here. It's a family friendly show. All right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He said more than that. There we go. And I got up there and I said, I don't have any more onion rings for you. You know, leave me alone. And he said, why not? I said, could you ate them all? So we had a fun time with him at the so, Yeah, he's table. just, yeah. he loves talking to people yeah. and just, you know, very personable and, yeah, and very talking with people down in the lobby. And just, yeah. th that's what makes it for me is the, the close contact you have here to some of the people that, that otherwise in other shows that you probably wouldn't have. So yeah. that's, that's what and I he's, enjoy the most. You know, we don't have anything to do with that. We don't know. You know, it's a, it's a long ways away, but he's already talking about coming either next year or to another IC. Correct. He, he seems to be having a really good time. Good. Chris, 
I feel like, I'm, I'm going to cut you right off. I feel like Chris has done nothing since he's been here. Oh. Uh, he's just wandering around. Well, he actually, he's, the, he's the bodyguard. He said, like, I can't you guys, tell if he's having a good time or not. If there's a meter of doing nothing, Brandon's here. I'm all the way down here. <laughs> I have done nothing. But to be fair, I told all of you guys I was doing nothing before I came. <laughs> I was security guard and just that's it. Yeah, but you didn't even do that. Well, that's true. I, I, find, I, I find out that the emperor is walking around with a security team, as he should, right? He's the big celebrity here. I find out his security team is special, special forces. And then I find out our security team is from Long Island. He's a toy salesman. Yeah. Uh, he's also I, special, special I forces. <laughs> when I first met Chris, I said, well, are you a cop? And he goes, no, everybody thinks I'm a cop. I'm not. Nobody you know, had a, a cop. Nobody had a problem. The only thing that happened the whole weekend was he got four French fries stolen. I would think that's a <laughs> good weekend, right? And he got an autograph. And he got a free autograph. You know, autograph. So <laughs> he was one more French fry, and he was going to jump in. I saw him. Then I then ready. I was getting ready. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. You were fine. All right. So you you ha in your own way, you've been having a great time here. I could tell. I mean, you yes. you're talking to everybody. You can't go. 10 feet without another conversation. Oh, no, kind of, no. We've kind of been having no. similar experiences. <laughs> huge celebrity, huge celebrity. Right? Shane, yeah. he's <laughs> making sales. That's what he's doing. That's what but I'm, I'm yeah. saying, yeah, 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 you're right. He is. No, but he's delivering that, packages. Seeing friends and people you haven't had a chance oh, to Oh, yeah, talk that, with that's yet. the best part about it is yeah. that you're selling stuff to people every day. You don't really get to like see their face and talk to them in person. So it's nice when they come up to you and they say, hey, I'm, you know, so and so. and. I buy from you all the time, and I'm like, oh, well, that's great, you know. And then I'm taking down orders from yeah. when I get back, and, and you, you emptied know, out two thirds stuff. of your garage to the people that are here. All those builder boxes are finally unloaded. Ex well, yeah, I still yeah. got about sixty more to go, but yeah. you know, it's good. Hi, how you doing? Uh, my name is Chris. I'm the one that ripped you off. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. Well, I will. I will say this. This sounds so strange to say, but we we came last year after having started the show and we have a he person here or there who would recognize us cuz it's on YouTube and say oh hey I watch the show today it's awesome thank you but and it was just like kind of we didn't even know what how to react this year it's been more more so even that it, it yeah. sounds strange to say but it's just been really enjoyable to meet some of the people that watch the show because we don't think anybody's watching us so no. when we you know so when we even meet 10 people over the course of a day that that watch the show and you know tell us what their favorite episode was or who did this and that. It's really which been ones fun. They don't like. What happened? Or which ones they don't like? Well, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> they hate Charles's episode. They hate. Yeah. They hate. So Charles's favorite episode is the eBay episode. It happens to be the one that I hate the most. Also, we've had a lot of complaints about doing those. So I think we need to <laughs> nick it at just no. finish it. Keep Done. Doing. No Char more. Charles, Charles, you, I know you've been counting. How many complaints have we had about that? One. One. <laughs> One, one complete. Well, and, uh, two with him. How many viewers do we have? <laughs> two. So that's fifty percent. Very good. So uh, obviously, talking to all the people, I think is probably where you had the most fun. But you've gotten to take in all the vendor hall. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, we've gotten to meet with some people who are in the area as well and hang out. I mean, last year being a vendor and selling was fun, and then this year being press was also fun. I've had a lot of people say, "Hey guys, where's your table? I want to buy stuff from you. Yeah. I've been looking all over for you guys," and I'm like. We're not selling this year, so it's a little bummed out because I kind of wish I was selling, but ultimately I'm so glad I wasn't selling. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally so. different. Oh, we didn't sell, but uh, there was a room sale in the uh, Walden chain and the, the, the Walden suite. Man here yeah, the Walden suite. In their room, and somebody here in the audience threw a sign up on the elevator, and it said oh, All over the hotel. Open 9 p.m. until 3 a.m. So, <laughs> they were getting knocks right on their door until 3 a.m. And, and, and I'm saying, I'm a graphic designer, I know how to put a quick flyer together, and he's got it on his phone, he's showing me, he's got one with Five Idiots Talking Toys logo, and then a different one with five, Rogue Five Toys. He went downstairs to the receptionist and had them printed out. That's what he did? Yeah. I said, how he was, was he making is this on his phone? that why they look so bad? He was, paper, he was pasting them everywhere. People were messaging me saying, hey, where's the room sale? The door's closed. And I'm like, oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's not a room sale. <laughs> crazy room sale the other night. It opened until 3 a.m., huh? And I was like, no. This guy doesn't even know how to work a flip phone. He's over there with Photoshop <laughs> Mobile. No. And he's making a banner, and he's putting it in elevators in every ho hotel in the area. Whenever he needs to do anything, he calls his wife. The fact that he was able to do this by himself, honestly, it's great. He, he, I guarantee you he was at Kinko's for four hours last week. Probably. How did he get floor to floor? That's a lot of walking. 
I don't know. I don't know. You to... <laughs> Two elevators. Can you save those questions for after the show, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, I, I mean, I, yeah, I just enjoy, I mean, I enjoy so many aspects of it, uh, you know, just, just, just seeing the people, you know, the, the friends and the people that I, you know, that you can talk to is my favorite part. As you can tell, I've got this raspy voice, and it's, it, you know, I'm locked in a room at home working from home all the time, and, and I've just been blowing my voice out just for conversation, and that's just the time of my life, you know, doing that, talking to everybody. Um, seen some great collectibles, got some autographs for my first time for my kids, so I'm having a great time. Is it true that this is the first time you've been out of the house since last ICCC? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. I just said to these guys, we're sitting out on the bench getting ready to come in, in here, and I said, we're, we're, we're just laughing our, our butts off, falling off the bench, and I said, how am I going to go home tonight and then sit in the house tomorrow staring at four <laughs> walls without you guys and without this conversation? We were having such a good time. So, Well, you can stay tuned because every Sunday night we do it, so at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. It's 5idiotstalkingtoys.com is, is our website that will get you to all the links for our show, all of our socials. We have a merch shop. If you would love to support the show, buy a hat, buy a T-shirt. T-shirts.com. Uh, T-shirts.com is not correct, uh, but if you, if, if you would love to support the show, I'm going to say it right now, guys. Yeah. We're live here at ICCCCCC5. We are going to launch our Patreon very, very soon, so stay tuned yep. for that. If we're going to have some, we have some ideas we're working on, but please, if you like the show, if you want to support the show, please stay tuned for that. Uh, Rogue5toys.com is our sales page. That is uh, supporting the show as well. So you can come hang out with us there and have a lot of fun in between the episodes during the week. We'll be offering breaking news on that channel as well. Oh, well, very oh good. yeah, very good. breaking news. Stay tuned for next week on Rogue 5 when we get back home. Very good. Anything else you guys want to say? We're all going to be heading to the airport in an hour or two, literally. I have uh, some to breaking fly. news. <laughs> What's that? I said I had some breaking news. Some breaking news. That was a breaking news. Very good. So stay tuned for breaking news. Uh, Vi I, Uncle Victor, we have to go pull him out of the helicopter, I think. Yeah, yeah. He's still strapped in. <laughs> he's dangling down, swinging his arms. He's got a need for speed, and they have a need for him to leave. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for watching our show, guys. It has been so sweet of all of you to come up to us the last three days, hang out with us, shake hands, talk to us about the show. We really, really appreciate it. We love the IC. We love the convention. This is where we met. We're happy to be back here, and we're happy to talk Star Wars and all things sci-fi and pop culture with you. Please come back and visit us soon at 5idiotstalkingtoys.com. Bye-bye. Thank you, Shane. Thanks, Shane. Thanks, Thank you for having us on. Bye.